This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopod, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. Recently, I got this portable IPS monitor from Elecro.com. They have lots of different types of displays and accessories. They also offer PCBA, 3D printing and acrylic laser cutting services. And if you use my coupon Electro 10, you will get 10% off on Raspberry Pi Pico kit. I have added all the related links in the description. Now let's go ahead and start the unboxing. We have this portable monitor quick user guide. It has all the information which will help you in understanding how to use different buttons, how to connect it with a laptop, cell phone and lots of other devices the portable monitor USB to USB-C cable for powering up the portable monitor it's going to be used with this 5 volt and 3 amps adopter this is pretty amazing it means you can also power up the monitor using a power bank we have also got this USB-C to USB-C type cable for connecting cell phones and other devices that supports USB-C and video output And we have also got this HDMI to mini HDMI cable. Now let's go ahead and start with the monitor. This is 15.6 inches ultra thin IPS portable monitor with a full HD 1920 by 1080 resolution display. It supports wide compatibility with laptops. PCs, phones, PS3, PS4, Xbox, Android box, etc. Its material is CNC aluminum alloy. The screen size is 15.6 inches. The panel type is IPS. The aspect ratio is 16, 9, and 4, 3, which are switchable. Resolution is 1920 by 1080. Visual angle is 170 degrees. Refresh rate is 60 Hz. For most picks, read my article available on electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. I really liked its magnetic casing which not only protects the screen but also acts as a stand. We have got buttons and ports on the right and left sides of the monitor. This tiny button is the power or return button. Long press this button to turn on or turn off the display and short press to return to the main screen. This dial wheel plus button is used to open the OSD menu. It controls the menu and confirms the selection. This is 3.5 mm audio jack. You can connect a headphone or external speakers. By the way, it has dual stereo speaker. On the left side, this is the USB Type-C power supply interface. It supports external power supply and reverse charging. It's compatible with PD 2.0 power supply protocol. It supports a wide range of input voltages from 5 volts to 20 volts. This is a full featured USB Type-C interface for power supply, audio and video signal transmission, touch screen signal transmission and a reversible insertion capability. This is the mini HDTV interface for audio and video signal transmission. I think I have shared enough information with you guys. Now it's time to start the practical demonstration and use all the interfaces and functions. So without any further delay, let's get started. First, I'm going to start by connecting this monitor with laptop using HDMI cable. If you are planning on using this portable monitor with your PC or laptop then there is no need for the external power supply. You can use your PC or laptop to power up this portable monitor. Now long press this tiny button to turn on the display. Press F4 on the keyboard to select among duplicate, extend or the second screen only. Since I'll be using this monitor as the second display while designing 3D objects, PCBs etc. So I'm going to select the extend. This way I can open data sheets and designs on this portable display. Where is on the main laptop screen I can open my designing software.
I can also play a movie or song and obviously I can also play games. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project making them viewable within Ultim Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultim Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultim 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs, links to the Ultium designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. Short press the tiny button if you want to switch between the HDMI and USB-C type devices. Use the dial wheel to scroll through different interfaces. Now to select a particular interface press the dial wheel. For now I will continue with the HDMI. If you directly press the dial wheel it will open the OSD menu and using the same dial wheel you can scroll through the menu categories let's say i want to adjust the brightness so i will simply select the brightness and press the dial wheel now again i can scroll through all these items anyway to adjust the brightness simply select the brightness and press the dial wheel now moving the dial wheel in upward and downward directions i can increase or decrease the screen brightness now to return to the main OSD menu, simply short press the tiny button. Now you can go to the image category to change the aspect ratio using the dial wheel. The same way you can scroll through all the categories. If you directly move the dial wheel in the upward direction, you can control the brightness and then short press the tiny button to return to the main display. If you directly move the dial wheel in the downward direction, then you can control the volume. Anyway, you can use this portable full HD monitor with all those devices which are provided with HDMI ports. If you remember in the beginning, I said you can also display your cell phone content on this portable monitor. You can do it in two different ways. Number one, if your cell phone supports video output or USB-C then using this USB-C to USB-C type cable you can directly connect your cell phone with this monitor and you can play your favorite songs, games, you can use Facebook, you can watch videos on YouTube and so on. Here is a list of all the devices which supports video output. My cell has USB-C type connector but it doesn't support video output so I just can't display my cell phone content on this monitor. But I'm not worried because the next technique which I'm going to explain will work with any smartphone including mine and of course yours. So the second technique is that what if I convert this portable monitor into an Android smart portable monitor then I can do whatever I want. So I purchased this Android box and using this Android box I can convert any monitor or display into an Android smart display. So let's do it. Connect the Android box with the portable monitor using HDMI cable.
The Android box has successfully connected with the monitor. The Android box is connected with my cell phone hotspot so I can download different apps, I can play games, I can use Facebook, I can send emails. Now it works as a smartphone. The best thing is I can also connect a mouse and a keyboard with the Android box. So this way I can do things faster than I could do on my cell phone. I also have a Netflix package so I can watch my favorite movies. I can listen to my favorite songs etc. Now if you go to the apps, you can use Miracost Wi-Fi display to connect your cell phone. All you need is simply turn on the screen cost on your cell phone and connect it. Now you can see my cell phone content on the monitor. This is simply amazing. Besides this, you can also connect your USB flash drive. You can also use this portable monitor with PS3, PS4 and Xbox to play your favorite games. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.